So, uh, Edit uh, is here again. Uh, we are going to bring you uh, different interviews of influential people, influential young people here in Bulawayo. We'll get to Harare there, but for now we are dealing with Bulawayo. I'm with uh, uh, my guy, uh, Imed, and my sister Dorothy Chipo. Uh, they are hip hop artists and uh, they are very well known here in Bulawayo. They uh, did uh, a set piece which is very uh, inspiring. I don't know what inspired them, they'll tell you. Uh, it's very inspiring. Uh, it's about children. Uh, UNICEF uh, is going to have a, a World Children's Day. So as artists, uh, they created a set piece that, will, that is going to motivate different young people in Zimbabwe uh, that are going to have an impact in Zimbabwe. So Elite is bringing you a very good uh, interview. We'll be doing interview sessions to these young ladies and uh, young gentlemen in Blawayo. So uh, I'm here with my brother Imen. Uh, Imen, how are you, my brother? I'm um, great. I'm oh. awesome. How's everything? Everything is good as long as we're making the music. Yeah, yeah. Happy. <laughs> yes, yeah. Can you tell us about uh, about you, about your music? Uh, what what inspired you? Well, I, I started doing music in 2017. Okay. Right after I finished my my, my upper six. All right. So where I told myself how to make beats initially, and then you know when you're bad at making beats, no one has to buy your beats and stuff. So All then right. I started writing to my own beats, and soon enough I could make all, all songs for myself. All so right. then I ended up releasing music, and people actually liked it, and that's how the career started. Okay, so, so uh, I like the beats part. Uh, mm -hmm. What 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 did you use to to to, to make these beats? Because uh, there are many young people who want to to create these wonderful beats. But they don't know what to do and how to do it. What did you, how, how did you manage? Well, I think it depends on you, you know. There's many um, applications to use. And so on, yeah. But I think it depends on what you want to make. For example, if you want to make uh, electronic dance music, you'd want to use, for example, Ableton. And, you know, because for some reason I feel that's the one which has got um, you know the sound you need for that. All right. If you want to make trap. Of which I just saying she's a hip hop artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel like she's she's more of a, how would I describe you? you, you, you I'm okay. I'm okay. a hip hop artist. <laughs> All so right. For hip hop, I would use FL Studio. That makes sense. Fruit, fruit Loop, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me introduce you to my sister, my wonderful sister, Dorothy Chipo. How are you, my sister? I'm doing great. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we are so happy meeting you. So how's it? How's everything? How's the uh, the environment? The atmosphere? Everything is fine. Thank you for having me on the show. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad to share what I've learned um, in on the journey so far. All right, all right. So uh, the song that uh, that inspired us to come here is about uh, World uh, World Children Day, uh, which is going to be on uh, 20 November of this month. So. Uh, on your song, uh, there are very uh, inspiring lyrics that you, 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 you did, that you, you created as an artist. Uh, what do you say about um, this children uh, day? Well, what can you say? Why, why, why did you compose the song? Perhaps um, what will give you more insight into who I am as an artist is mm -hmm. to go back and tell you who Dorothy Chipo is. Yes, yes. Um, I started recording music um, in 2013 when I released uh, my first single, Just Was a Shining So, and um, I, I am a Christian recording artist, uh, but um, you'll find that this is my first track that is not targeted at singing for the Lord or singing to encourage someone um, okay. about Jesus, because one of my callings and passions is to do with children. And um, from the background of having started Richie Young Soul Trust, which is a trust that um, is about children and for children, um, I've always been concerned about how children um, are being treated, are they getting um, a proper childhood. So my brother and I were sitting one day after the, the whole stay the time uh, when kids were caught um, on camera helping out with uh, some acts and then rounded off to the police station and we were talking about it and wondering what kind of adults they would be after having gone through all that stuff so it, over the next couple of months we went back and forth even was making a beat we would sing to it and just put all those issues about children 
things like um, the right to play, the right to, uh, to education, the right to a childhood even. Uh, we just put it all together, okay. the right to love and um, affection, all those things about the child, they are included okay, in that okay, song. Okay, <clears throat> okay uh, I, I really like this, uh, the right to love part. Because what is happening nowadays is um, uh, uh, the parents, uh, the parents themselves, uh, the, you can you cannot see a parent like usually a dad uh, just telling his children that <clears throat> uh, no Lance I love you no Dorothy I love you uh, did your dad ever just like Dorothy come here oh my, my daughter I love you from no did he ever do that because we want to look at those situations whereby our parents. Uh, that they're not telling us uh, that they love us. They should tell us that they love us, these parents of ours. Because it, it actually helps us mentally. Because you see uh, what happens when I go to school and I see other, other children, they're saying, oh, my dad, he said, he, he told me that he loves me, he did this and this and that. You know, all those caring things, you know. Uh, some parents, they're not giving that care to their children. They're not telling their children that they love them, you know. The parents should do that to their children. So, what, what, what do you think about this? A parents and children relationship. So, you find in this song, mm -hmm. uh, both of us were speaking from the perspective of a child. Mm -hmm. We tried to view the situation in the eyes of a child. With the prevailing economic situation, mm -hmm. you'll find that parents already are heavy laden with just trying to provide, just trying to put in the hours of work to make sure the children have a home, the children have food, the children have school fees. Okay. They are heavy laden. So the gap uh, is there where uh, the kids may feel deprived of the presence of the, of the, of the parents. Okay. So you'll find for a child it is more important for you to be present than for you to bring presents. Yeah, I'm remembering this, uh, your, your lyrics in the song, you like, every night you're fighting, and I can't even sleep. It's not only about the interaction between the child and the, the parent. Right. Even the interaction of the parents is going to affect the child. Right. So you see with the economic hardships, um, a child is seeing everything that's happening, tempers flaring, and the parents fighting, and that leaves emotional scars, yeah, which sure, sure. damages the child. Right. So I think, yeah, for example, this song was very emotionally charged. Yeah, if you really notice, I really, I it didn't really, even have um, a chorus yeah. because I felt like naturally if something is emotional you don't structure it normally in a, in a way which you actually put your mind to it. You right. just go with the flow and you let your emotions out. Oh, yeah. yeah, therefore just no chorus straight in saying everything you're finding wrong with the situation from the viewpoint of a child. Yeah. Rather than from a logical view of saying the reason for this is that. Because a child does not know the reasons. They just feel the emotion and how they're being treated. Uh -huh. There's a certain part of my, my side of my lyrics I right. feel would be a bit harder for people to understand. To understand. Can you explain? It's less, it's less in the open. You know? Okay, can you explain to them? Yeah, so there's a part where I was like in custody and they won't let me go. Officer, look at what's going on. Any other of my lyrics are more general and anyone can relate to. But then that's, that short section was a bit more personal because yeah. I had a conversation with someone yeah. during you know that August time yeah. whereby a child was going back home yeah. and then you know the, 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 the officers we, we just patrolling yeah. so they didn't ask them what's happening we just took kids right. and went with them to, to the police station so then they'd end up sleeping at the, at the police station until Monday even though the kid was just walking back home. He was just walking back home. Yeah. So like, I mean, if you're a child, you don't even understand why this is happening. You just had a random cop coming to you right. and carrying you and going with you to, to the police station and you spent a weekend at the police station. Right. So I thought like it was something that, that touched me and I had to mention it when I was thinking of children because I was wondering like, this kid, how do they feel when they're going through all right. of that? Okay, yeah. okay. something like, uh, uh, like what my sister Dorothy was saying about uh, you know, uh, the kids seeing uh, parents fighting, it will exactly. have, have something in their heart and something, it might not go. So uh, I think uh, uh, it, it was a good part of the song and uh, I, I hope people are going to understand what we're trying to say. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Rich. Yeah. Do you have anything to add? I think from my end, um, the song Map to Brighter Days is just showing you that uh, the way we treat children now is mapping up whether our days will be brighter ahead or not. If we think about it now and we treat them better, uh, we'll probably have brighter days ahead. And also yeah. delving into the lyrics, there's a part about speaking for those who cannot speak. Okay, yeah, there's, sure. There's um, a, a part where um, the child is saying, just because I'm not able to speak, uh, it doesn't mean you have to suppress how I feel. So it's just meant to make everybody stop and listen to themselves as they are speaking to a child. Am I saying this right? How does the child receive it? They may not be able to speak back to me, but how do they feel about it? So, yeah, we're advocating that children's rights be observed. And 20 November is the day to start thinking more about it. We identified it as uh, UNICEF also identified it as World Children's Day. Yeah. So we just want to speak for the children. And that's the reason why we're wearing blue. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 sure. We want to go with the color for UNICEF and uh, speak on behalf of the children. Uh, it's okay, thank you guys. Uh, so this famous song uh, about children uh, is going to be, is going to be uh, released on the 20th of uh, November, so look for the song, it's very inspiring, it can help another child day out there in this world, so please guys, um, come through, uh, come through Elite, uh, Elite will be bringing you more interviews of influential people like this guy, my sister Dorothy, she has worked with various artists, she was even in Zim Praise, oh my god, Zim Praise! So guys, let's continue working with guys like Imed, they're so, they're so helpful in this, uh, in this initiative, uh, thank you guys. Uh, Edit uh, recordings. Thank you.